This is not a lot video. What's good? You know who this is. This is the one and only Poetic Old Soul. I know I'm just playing with my hair. I uh, retwisted them and everything. Did all of that. All of that, man. In a bag of chips yesterday. Okay, this video is Saturday. It is Saturday, so I did it Friday. And it took me over six hours to get this shit done. And so, I took some pictures. I posted on Facebook. And y'all want to see the pictures? Check it out. You know, as I think about it, my retwist resembles how Mari, okay, shout out to Who Knows Six, who did my hair like this, minus the curls, almost three years ago. And he he did a damn good job retwisting my locks when he was here visiting for a few days. And um, so, you know, how he did it, you know, he used the gel, he used the coconut oil. He inspired me to use coconut oil, and I've been using coconut oil in my hair ever since. And a um, little bit of water and... Uh, and a toothbrush to gather up all the loose hairs. I didn't use a toothbrush. I did not use a toothbrush, you guys. So, yeah, honey. You know, I didn't, I didn't even use a mirror to retwist my locks at all. I was just like, fuck this. Let me just get this shit done. So, um, there you have it. This is not a lock video. <laughs> this is not a lock video so the main reason why I'm making this video is because of the simple fact that if you see some footage uh, of me being in Los Angeles California okay which will be in the next few days very few days then you will know that I will be in Los Angeles California and you might see a very special I would say a special guest, but I'm I'm actually the guest because I will be visiting their town. Uh, you guys, y'all gonna pretty much see a behind the scenes of the making of a Divine Love High. Really, you know, my second book, and um, it's got to get done. I, I'm I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. This book has got to be fucking done. Okay. And the mission is that I need, you know, I want y'all to come with me. I, I need a few poems. I need some inspiration. And the person who is the muse of the book, okay, the muse is none other than Nana Baby 277 So, you guys, put two and two together, okay? You might see her in my videos, so, um... Yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting, you know, I mean, not only is she, you know, featured in the book, she is, you know, I'm, I dedicated the book to her, and she's the forward, I mean, what poetry book, do y'all know any poetry books where the person is the forward, the feature, and it's in dedication to that person, all wrapped up in one? Probably not. Probably not. However, I am so determined to make this book a fucking masterpiece. Okay? So, and speaking of masterpieces and and just following your passion to get a book done, I <laughs> let me just say that I want to send a very special shout out to Ann Robinson. Oh my gosh. When she made one of her vlogs, okay, I will post the link of the vlog that she made a few days ago down the bottom, okay? I totally did not expect for this sister to read one of my poems off of my book, Poetic Like Me. I was so blown away. I mean, especially the comments. Everybody's like, great poem, great poem. <laughs> I did the motherfucker, I did it. But, you know, I... She, that video was so inspirational, and she did a damn good job, and I was just like, wow. I felt like it was a reminder to myself 
from her words as well as my own words that there are people that can be very disappointing and that will come into your life and want to just, you know, you have these high expectations for people and come to find out later on that they are just full of shit and you're just like, what the fuck? So, and you can't get all hell-bent and, and upset about it, so you just have to calm yourself down, be at positive peace, and just chill. You know, you know, you can't be in that solitude too long. Just chill and relax and let the solitude and the quietness and all of that, you know, and the peace be your friend to just take a breather. And that's really what the poem that she read was about. You know, it's called My Non-Human Friends. Now, I would read it. You know, to hear it so y'all can hear it from my own voice. But no, nah, she, I am so proud. I, <laughs> I mean, she, Anne read, read that poem that I wrote so well. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I couldn't have said it any better. I hope I said that correctly. But I'm just saying, I mean, wow. Shout out to Ann Robinson. Y'all need to subscribe to her. That's my YouTube sister. She is awesome. She's funny, quirky, and, and just uh, random like me. So, yeah, I, that's the first time someone has ever, ever read a poem off of my book on YouTube. Somebody else other than myself. I mean, how awesome was that? That really shocked the hell out of me. That was like, whoa, whoa, for real? <laughs> I thought she was going to read a poem from some other poet. You know what I'm saying? Like Nikki Giovanni or, or Maya Angelou, but no, me. <laughs> I was just like, damn, that is so dope. So, um, but yeah, man, I, poetry, being an author, being, you know, spoken word artist, you know, that's my ma my, my passion, yeah, my master, mm -mm. yeah, I'm a master at that, but no, that's my mission, that's my passion, that is what I'm, um, um, you know, striving for to get this, my second book done, I want this book released for this year, for 2014, don't know how I'm gonna come up with the money for this, cause, uh, yeah, it's going to follow. All of that's going to all, I, I look at it this way. Law of attraction and the universe is a beautiful thing. I already sent the vibe out into the universe that I need the funds to get this book done. And, um, every, you know, I look at it this way. You know, I need something to drink. Damn, my lips. Anywho, everything will fall into place. I'm not worried about it. All I know is that I... I am going to be in L.A., you guys. I mean, wow. So, yeah, that's that's going to be cool. So, I just thought I should let y'all know that if y'all see any L.A. footage, you'll know what's up. And it'll probably be titled, Behind the Scenes of a Divine Love Eye. Whatever the fuck. I mean, shit, y'all going to come with me. Okay, y'all going to come with me. So, that's, that's all, that's all I wanted to say, and show off my locks, and, you know, my curls, I mean, recurled my hair and everything, so, I'm gonna be looking cutest, I'm gonna be cute, okay, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just so amped and excited, you know, and I'm just, like, not knowing what to expect, it's like the, the you know, expect the unexpected, you know, it's like an adventure, that's, that's what it feels like, you know, an adventure, really, it really is, gonna be an adventure, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make sure I have a good time, okay, for real, for real, so on that note, I'll see y'all in LA, more likely, <laughs> uh, mwah, Poetical Soul signing out, you guys, and um, if you want to help fund my book, why don't y'all just buy some bracelets, get some bracelets for me, Soulful Pride on Etsy, Soulful Pride on on Etsy. Go to Etsy.com, sign you up an account if you don't have one, go to Soulful Pride, and you'll see my bracelets, and help a sister out. They're made with love by me, Poetic Old Soul, okay, the artist, author, bracelet maker, jack of all trades, okay, so I love you guys, and um, 
gotta go. Just rambling and shit. <laughs> it's a YouTube thing. Y'all understand. Bye. <laughs> Later. One more thing. I know you guys are like, wait a minute. What are you doing coming to LA to see the person who you were crying about uh, last two videos ago? You guys, it's like this. I'm going to keep it raw and real like I always do. Nana and I will always be friends. We will always be connected. We will always have that special bond no matter what. Okay, period, dot. All I know is that this poetry book is considered a love story and um fuck that fuck the quotes it is a love story 80 percent of the poems is about me and her and um i'm just ready to bring this book to a close ain't no telling how it's gonna end don't know whether it's gonna be bittersweet or what have you don't know you know i was just telling one of my my folks you know I, I don't want this book to be a cliffhanger okay I really don't um you know and everybody wondering well what, what happened did y'all two finally united reunited whatever whatever y'all finally seen each other you know after y'all first met at word a year ago blah 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 you know uh, fuck all that I'm ready to just really bring this book, like I said, to a close, you know, to end it right, <laughs> however it's gonna end, we'll see, cause really, we're all just gonna play this shit by ear, I don't know what to expect when I come to LA, to be honest, I know I'm gonna stay with my one of my folks, but, uh, shout out to my friend Sherry, um, but otherwise, I don't know how this shit's gonna end, so y'all, yeah, like I said, I, I might record, y'all might come with me, y'all might not, but we'll see. So, yeah, okay, I'm done. Love y'all. <laughs> Later.